about how we see the leaders within our communities and how much credibility that we give to people, especially in this day and age when in, of the live stream of the activists that's consistently checked into wherever they are and how easy it is for us to create heroes out of these. And I thought about all of the men that grew up around Minneapolis because that's where the American Indian Movement was born and how much I know that I see people come into my community from the outside and they look at the heroes of the 70s and they love these guys. Guys, these guys, these men, these good men. And the first time I was ever in Juvie, I was locked up with a guy named Marcus. And Marcus was in Juvie because he had punched out one of those good men. And the reason he punched out one of those good men is because that good man had slapped up his mom. Uh, and that good man's name was Clyde Belcourt. And so when I see people come in with that hero way, I can't help but get a little bit upset about it. And so I've composed this based on that. This poem is titled, A Good Man. Can't sleep. I'm missing people. Have you seen her? She walks in my dreams. We talk not the meaning of things, but we're real quick to catch up on the gossips. We just laugh over prosthetic hands designed to give consent where a body rejects. They used to love, tap, Gimme that, hit back, no, stop, anything but that. And a 